Well, we have said from day one that that is our objective and uh, we will continue to work as hard as we possibly can to achieve that purpose. Sure. Well, to date we have, uh, have been dealing with and are continuing to deal with over 4,000 structured inquiries in relation to this particular investigation. We have assembled over 2,000, 2,100 odd statements and reports. Uh, we have some 1,200 uh, exhibits collected uh, and we are looking at many, many hundreds of thousands of uh, pieces of CCTV and uh, all of those things require very careful analysis as, as you can imagine. But uh, the, to give you an, a sense of the depth and breadth of the investigation, we have been working very closely, as you know, with our colleagues in the police service in Northern Ireland. Uh, we're also engaging the services of Europol and Interpol, uh, and we have been working with our colleagues in the United States in relation to this investigation. Well, we're satisfied that we have the identities of the people that were there on the night, but of course, uh, there are many people out there who know what happened that night. They know these, these particular people, they know uh, what they were doing before, during and after. And it is the case that there are people shielding these people. So it is an opportunity for these people to come forward and help us with our investigation because we won't be going away anytime soon. We will continue to track these people down and to assemble the necessary evidence that's necessary to sustain a successful prosecution. Well, we, I'll, I'll reserve my position on that, but we are satisfied that we know the people who are involved and uh, you know, there are people, as I said, who know the, the finer detail uh, of the activities that each and every one of the gang members uh, took part in that, that evening. So uh, these are the people that need to come forward now with information. Well, we, we have traveled to America and we have been in touch constantly with our colleagues uh, in, in America in relation to uh, a number of the suspects in this particular crime. Uh, and beyond that, I don't want to go at this period. Well, certainly won't be a barrier to prosecution, Pat. And uh, of course, there are difficulties when you're dealing with uh, people who uh, you know, cross over and back across the border. That, that's, that's a given, you know, but we're working extremely closely with the PSNI on this matter and uh, nothing will be a problem when it comes to police-to-police -to -police cooperation in terms of bringing the perpetrators of this crime to justice. The PSNI have been extraordinarily good to us in terms of uh, the assistance they have rendered so far and the Chief Constable and his team are very committed to ensuring that whatever cooperation is necessary, uh, it, it will be there for us. Well, we're, we're following, as you can appreciate, a particular pattern and literally when we say we're going to leave no stone unturned, that's precisely what we intend to do in terms of, of bringing the successful to a con the investigation, excuse me, to a conclusion. And we'll continue to do whatever is necessary. And, you know, whether we have to move tomorrow morning, next week or beyond, from our perspective, the professional thing to do is to make sure that we have all of our uh, chain of evidence lined up as appropriate to bring these people to justice. Well, of course, people have been very, very sympathetic, naturally, as, as you'd expect. And, uh, you know, my colleagues in Dundalk have suffered a great loss, great loss to the community. Uh, both in the town of Dundalk and the Cooley Peninsula where Adrian lived. Uh, he was a pillar of the community. He is someone that had the respect of his colleagues and his peers in the community alike. And we will continue to do all that we can to ensure that uh, th these people are brought to justice. We have had fantastic cooperation and you can see yourself uh, the level of outpouring of emotion at, at the time of Adrian's death. But, you know, the simple fact remains that there are people out there who are shielding these killers and they are the people that now need to step up to the plate 
and come forward and help us with our investigation. It seems to me that, you know, the people on both sides of, of this island uh, have a choice to make as to what type of society they wish to live in. And clearly, when uh, a member of Angarj Kona is murdered in such cold-blooded fashion, people need to st take stock of, of where we are as a society. Of course, well, uh, as the Commissioner, uh, I'm fully committed to ensuring that we bring the perpetrators of this crime to justice and the Caroline and the children and indeed the wider Dunhu family uh, are aware of my resolve to ensure that that happens and we will continue to do all we can collectively to ensure that that happens. Thanks very much. Okay, Pat.